Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. That sounds kind of like a, a tall order, Lord, and we don't always feel like rejoicing. But because the Lord has anointed us, the Spirit of the Lord is upon us because He has anointed us. We've been baptized with water and the Holy Spirit. And one of the titles of the Holy Spirit is the oil of gladness. And this great privilege to share the gospel just as, as John was called and sent by the Father to be the forerunner of, of Jesus, the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Christos. And, and this idea of, of the Evangelium, the, the Gospel, in this time had political kind of connotations. It was the announcement of the victory of the King, of the Savior, of the military kind of uh, victor. And Jesus has won the victory. And we're given this commission to, to be his apostles, to be sent out by him, to share this good news that Jesus has conquered sin and death. And this should give us great joy because if we've experienced this liberation that he, it's described in the first reading, glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord. Just imagine if you were in crushing credit card, credit card debt, if you had a, a mortgage you couldn't pay, and all of a sudden someone says, oh, the bank wiped the debt free. Would you be joyful? Would you say, hey, you need to go check out this, this bank down the street. They're so merciful. This is what the Lord invites us to, to share his joy. And what is joy? What, you know, this idea that we can love something in the abstract, like, oh, I love ice cream. It's just like a constant kind of disposition or, or relationship to that object. But when I see someone pull out ice cream, I desire it. It's something that, it's almost there, I can almost have it. It's something that I, I enjoy when I taste it. So it's the experience of something good in my life, not something that's still distant. So it's, it's the already of salvation that I experience myself, the goodness of the Lord, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. And that if we've experienced that goodness, we want to share that with others who also desire this freedom, this liberation from sin and death. So listen to the exhortation of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Share the joy of the gospel with others this Gaudete Sunday.